Tonight, family and friends are grieving after the body of a missing Thompson man was discovered in Columbia County last week. Investigators say the body of Contavious Rivers was found along Bill Dorn Road near where it intersects with White Oak Road. That's in Appling on March 18th. Happening right now, News Channel 6's Mary Calkins is live in Thompson where a balloon release in Rivers memory is scheduled. Mary Rivers family was searching for him for almost a month. Jenny, that's right. Contavious River's sister, Nikki, we spoke with her early on in the search, and she said they would never stop looking for Contavious, and that search ended tragically. His body found in Appling um, on Bill Dorn Road, and now Nikki tells me that she will remember her big brother. She'll remember him as the protector of their family. Just his girls, the girls of the family. He loved the girls. Um, I'm 21, and he's where I wasn't grown like every time I move where you going girl where you going sit down girl where you going <laughs> yeah so he was just he just had to protect the instinct that's that's really the memories that we have him being a protector Contavious was the second oldest of five siblings Nikki and their mother Sharon Rivers say his love for the family ran deep every week the Rivers family got together for Sunday dinner where Contavious could be found at the grill the last couple of Sundays, it hasn't been the same due to him not being there because he's always cooking on the grill on Sundays and um, we always have, you know, we always see each other every day. Rivers was last seen February 26th on Holt Street in Thompson. Three weeks into the search, Rivers' body was discovered in Columbia County. It's like a shock feeling, like a um, sad, wait for waiting for him to walk. Oh, y'all got some fish. I done caught some fish. Or, y'all, let's go um, lift out the grill. What y'all got to cook on the grill? Yeah, it's, it's just that's what we waiting on. Hit them boots clacking on the floor. Columbia County Sheriff's Office is not releasing cause of death at this time, but tells News Channel 6 foul play is suspected. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation has also been brought in to help investigate what happened. Nikki and her mother say they are still in shock of this great loss. Everybody loved him, so yeah. for this to happen, it was, you know, tragic. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. We still haven't wrapped our head around the fact that he's gone, yeah. you know, he's not coming back. The balloon release and candlelight vigil will be starting here in just a few minutes. And of course, as this story develops, we will um, keep you updated on the investigation. But for now, reporting live in Thompson, Mary Calkins, WJBF News Channel 6.